This is a great pattern, both on the river and the lochs. Now, you can tie it as a wet fly, which is ma most people will recognise it as like, but you can also tie it as a dry, it's a great dry fly. So, it's quite simple to tie. Hook I'm using in this case, this is the, the heavier hook, this is a B1775, and it's a size 12. Thread, I'm going to use just a uni thread in black. Simply put down a layer of thread, all the way along the shank. Stop it just just slightly by the barb. I'm just going to come down slightly. And then remove the waste piece. Wool. It's just a normal red wool. This is this is stuff here. You can get it anywhere. Any sort of sewing shop sells red wool. Now I'm going to tie this a full length of the body. It helps to bulk up the body. So You're looking tail length, half the length of the shank. Just trim it. Rib can either be a fine gold or fine copper wire, it's up to yourself. And I'm just going to use the, the fine copper wire. It's the full length of the body again. The peacock herald, this is in the body. Got two, maybe even three strands, depending how heavy you want it. Because you can dress it heavy and you can dress it light. So I'm just going to tie in three, just to show you what it looks like. Tie it in close to the tips, so the three there, again catch it on the side, so we've got wax on with thread, and then I'm going to nice and tight wind it up, just take your time, and nice and tight, now you want to finish up well, round about say a mil and a half or so, from the, from the eye, now to sort of balance it slightly, or take away the step from that, you can carry on down. Just make sure there's nothing going forward, and then come back up to where you want to tie in your hackle, or tie off your materials. Peacock kettle, I'm going to wind the opposite way, bring it towards myself. Work it. Don't be too fussy with it. Now to tie it off, go across the herald and do a turn onto the hook. So lock it in. Cross the herald and I turn onto the hook. Trim away the excess. Now wind your wire the same way you wind your thread. This is going to cross over the herald and catch it in and make it really strong. You're looking a good five to six turns up. Now what I'm going to do is roll back these fibres. Just roll back the herald, just draw them back. Bring that last turn of the wire up. Can bring a thread with it and put a ninth degree bend in. Just give a wee bit of wax there just to give me that wee bit of extra grip. Now you can, because it's a fine wire, fold it back, tidy up the area, and then you can break it away or cut it away. It's up to yourself. I prefer to break it away. So now the hackle I'm going to be using is a this one here. It's a it's a medium red hen. This is a hen neck. You could use a cock cock hackle if you want, Chinese, and this is a Chinese as well, just the hen feather. Length of the fibre can be basically from, it could, to the end of the tail, to so two thirds body length, it's up to yourself. It's this type of fly, I mean, don't be shy with it, it works extremely well. You can dress it light, you can dress it heavy, and it'll still catch fish. It's a very good beginner type fly. Now as you see I'm tying it in by the tip with the good side of the feather facing myself. It's going to come down with a couple of turns, fold back the tip of the hackle, come back up, keeping the thread tight I can grab the tip of the hackle, either break it off or cut it away. I'm just going to break it off. And then when you draw the fibres back, just draw them through your fingers. In this case my left hand, I'm just drawing them through. And then I'm going to do a turn in front of the other. Now you could use a hackle pliers for doing this. I like to use it by hand, that's why I, I keep the fluff on at the, the bottom of the feather, so I can do that. 
hips wind down to get enough hackle. Now you can dress it light, you can dress it heavy. Again, it still works extremely well. Now, as I said, this fly, uh, yeah, it's class more as a loft style fly, but to be honest with you, it works extremely well uh, in the river. Now, all I'm doing is open out the fibres, basically 90 degree bend into the stem, which it opens up a space so you can get the, th the tons of thread in. And then you can fold these back. Because it's a thin stem, and especially a hen, you can do that. And then just keep the thread tight. And then, quite finish, tie off. There we go. Trim away your thread. And trim away your hackle, or you can break it off. Again, it's a neat cut if you do that. And there we are. And that's, that's your red tag. Then all you have to do is a wee bit of varnish onto the head. You either apply it with a needle, or in my case I'm going to apply it with a, a brush. Just going to remove a fine hair that was on it there. Just touch it all the way around. You don't want to touch the feathers. And there we go. Just make sure the eye is clean. Use your needle to do that or a, an old feather of some sort. And there we are. And that's just a very simple wet fly. As I say, it works both on rivers and lofts. And certainly worth tying in from even size 8 down to as small as you can. I mean, I tie it down to size 20 as a dry fly. So you can do that as a wet fly and it'll still keep catching. So I hope you enjoyed that tying of the, the red tag. Tag as a wet fly. There's a red tag there. Now I'm going to tie it as a dry fly. Now, as I say, the wet fly, the dry fly, they work just as well, both for trout and grayling, and uh, even for rainbow trout. Now the hook I'm using, this is a size 20. It's a barbless hook, it's a dry fly hook. Thread, I'm just going to use a uni thread AO in black. Simply start to the eye. Just work my way down. Till stop just before we get down the bend of the hook. And then remove the base piece. Just take that away. Now we've got a red wool, just the same. But we're just going to tie in like a single strand. When you buy wool, it's kind of like twisted into three and four strands. So just take... Take one out. Just line it up. Now the, this small this fly will give the impression of a few species of fly on the water. And I especially like it when there's small ants about. Now you see I just cut the tail, which is half the shank length, just trim it away. To protect the body I'm using a an extra small copper wire. Catch this in. That point there. Then I'm going to get some peacock hair. Now we've got fine peacock hair, just a fine fibre on it. It's just, it's just like a couple of strands you're looking for. So tie them in near the tip. It's going to wind up, say about two thirds of the way. That point there, and then remove the excess. Now, what I'm going to do is tie in the hackle. Now I've got a, a saddle hackle here. This is a, a white and saddle. It's, in, it's a medium red colour. Just tie it with the underside of the hackle facing myself. Just, re just take away the fibres to reveal the stem. Just catch this on. And then wind up towards the eye. Now, this is going to get in the way, so what I'm going to do is just hold it back with a turn of thread, just take it forward, just to hold back the hackle, takes it out of the way. And then, two strands of peacock hair, I'm going to wind all the way up. So basically, the weakest fibre, I always wind towards myself. Just take your time. Now, as I get to where I've tied in the hackle, I'll let the hackle go. Just take that, turn back, and then come in front.
cane on all the way up and then across your thread with a turn to hold and a turn onto the, the hook and again and then remove the herald, the waist piece there you go. then I'm going to bring up my rib bring it the normal way, just wind it the same way as you wind your thread in my case it's away from myself just work your way around the hackle If you do catch a fibre, don't worry too much about it. You can always hide that. So just carry on all the way up towards the eye. Cross your thread. Tidy up. Bend and break away your, your wire. And then I just like to wind my hackle up towards the eye. Space it out so you can see some of the hero. Cross your thread. Now I'm going to wax my thread at this point, make sure it's well tied in. Trim it away. Sometimes I usually I usually fold these hackles back, but the stems are quite can be sometimes a bit too heavy to do that. So just trim it away. Form my head. Now I'm going to get a wee bit of varnish. Just touch the thread about a centimetre from the eye and then what finish straight away one two three tighten up just put a nail on the side of the eye and then tighten up with the thread trim oh, so there's a bit Okay, and there we are, and that's a small sort of red tag or dry fly. Now, it does pay to sort of you can leave the wire out and tie it off near the back, but I just feel that makes it a wee bit stronger and a wee bit more robust. And uh, now, variants of the fly you can tie it in black. Now, as I say, they will take this as a small ant pattern and uh, a small beetle pattern or anything. It's like a terrestrial type fly. But the fish do like that colour combination. And uh, so they're certainly, certainly worth tying in different sizes. Now, you could go a size smaller than that as well as three or four sizes above it. So, so I hope you enjoyed that tying of the red tag. <laughs>